Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Planet Explorers. As you can see, I'm setting up a new guy here. We're gonna call him Captain Weem. Alpha 6 released earlier this month, here in July, and um, yeah, they've got a number of new changes that I want to check out. My previous world had a number of issues, uh, specifically with the NPCs and gathering up some of the quests there. So I thought, well, there's a whole new update, um, or a whole new version with a ton of new updates. So let's check those out. Let's just kind of jam through them and we can get caught back up to where we were pretty quick, I think. So let's do this. Alrighty, here we are. We're going to get up off the ground. <laughs> Oh yeah, we know what's going on here, Gertie. So like I said, we're going to kind of jump into this and um, kind of just try and catch back up to where we were. I don't think it'll be too difficult and it won't take me terribly long. Let's see, we've got uh, some new items in here, I think. We have a script. We'll go ahead and uh, do this. And okay, we're gonna run back over here. We know where the emergency kit is. <laughs> so yeah, we basically have a number of updates. I've got them actually listed here um, over on my other screen. And these are basically things that I'm gonna wanna check out. I wanna be looking for all the new updates and we'll see if we can't experience them all. Now there is a new update to version 6 coming probably in about a week. It's going to fix a number of bugs um, that are apparently in this current version. So there will be those. I did look at that list so far though and it's just some fixes so nothing, I don't think they're adding any uh, crazy new features or anything. So, so that's cool. We're going to have some time to catch up. But in the meantime what we're doing is we're going to be gathering these plants over on the right in order to make the uh, the herbal juice for Gertie. She needs to get better again. So there's a number of updates to the actual game itself, the system. Uh, things like uh, the launcher, the, the amount of RAM being used and the UI, things like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's also just a lot of new features coming, uh, or actually here I suppose with, the, uh, with this version. And um, some of those things we're gonna run into pretty quickly. Um, for example, this right here, we're going to run into it. There we go. We have a progress bar on this uh, tree. So that's been that's been added to the game. That's really cool. Previously, you just sit there and chop and you didn't know. And uh, especially on the really big ones, you just were kind of waiting. <laughs> you didn't know just how much longer you were going to have to wait. So this is one of the new features. Um, I'm kind of looking at the list here. There's a whole lot of stuff, including new landscapes, missions, locations, weather, moon cycle. There's new materials. Um, yeah, all kinds of minerals, basically looking at a list of things that I'll probably be running into pretty soon, and that list is actually pretty long. There's also some really cool updates I'm looking forward to that we may or may not see in the near future. Um, so let's get, let's get back here. We're going to go ahead and make this juice. Give this over to Gertie. What's up? Well, I have this thing for you. Take it. <laughs> what is it? I have more to do. Uh, let's see. I saw a boat land a bit you did see here. somebody land. Okay, so Some we have to find a doctor. And we can shop for her now. We did have the arrow basically to the north. So this is the mission to run over the hill and find the other crew. And uh, let's see, is that pretty much all we have going on right now? Yeah. Alrighty, well, we'll start the run over there and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the other side of the hill. Okay, as I approach the other crew, I can see that the uh, layout of this world is a little bit different. Now, last time the ship was over the hill even farther, so it looks like they've they've made it a little bit closer to where you start. Um, and the ship actually is up on its wheels. That's cool. You can run up underneath it, it looks like. So the layout of this camp is a little bit different, um, and you can even see the terrain in the background. Those of you who watched, have been watching the series know that that was not the case previously. And in fact, I don't recall seeing the terrain do this kind of stuff anywhere uh, in the previous world. So that's pretty cool. We're going to definitely want to go check that out. Um, it looks like there's just kind of chunks all over the place. So that's very cool. Other than that, the hill doesn't look a whole lot different. Um, let's go ahead and talk to these guys. Let's see. I'm kind of looking for the dude. But maybe that's kind of changed as well. I guess we'll talk to... Oh, there he is. 
Somehow I missed him. <laughs> What's up, Alan? Ooh, he stopped me. What in the five hells happened? <laughs> I heard a loud bang and down we went. Yep. Luckily for me, I was seated right next to a lifeboat. Yep, yep. So now they've got this little uh, indicator that pops up above your face on the bottom left, and that's pretty cool. It tells you that a mission's completed or that you've just gained one, so that's cool. Um, huh? huh? <laughs> what? Yes, she's hurt. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me get my things and then we can go. Yeah, oh, there you go, over my head. New mission, getting to Gertie. Okay, so we're going to end up running back over to her. Um, I think he's going to be following me now, yes. And these guys, it doesn't look like we can bring them along. We'll see here. No? Okay, but let's check his box. Let's see if he's got anything in here. Yes, you do. You guys are just standing around over here. You don't need this stuff. <laughs> okay, Alan, with me. Now, this is something that I've actually read about. As you can see, I can't run through him. And I know that um, I've seen some people on the forums talk about the NPCs following you. And if you get bumped up against a tree, for example, you can get stuck there if they don't move. And uh, so that's kind of interesting. You end up having to chop through the tree. So we're going to kind of keep that in mind and try not to get into any of those kind of positions. Now, another thing I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and learn the rest of my scripts. And for those of you who are just coming to this, the little um, USB thumb drive looking icon <laughs> over the tops of some of these images uh, basically means these are scripts. So it's not, for example, this guy down here is not the shield. It's actually the shield script. It allows you to learn how to make a shield. So I'm going to go ahead and be right clicking those whenever I've got them so I know how to make them and uh, we can bring up basically with a hammer here hammer icon we can bring up the replicate window select any of the scripts that we've got and on the right it will tell you how to make them so that's kind of cool now in the meantime uh, let's see actually I don't have enough wood I think I was gonna make the um, axe no I don't have enough wood for that so anyway um, I was gonna throw the axe on but we'd have to make it can't make it yet so over the hill we go. We can already see the ship there straight ahead, and uh, we may end up getting mobbed on the way. We'll see. These little guys are not aggro. They like to throw rocks at people, but um, they're not aggro. So as long as we don't touch them, we're good. Uh, let's see. Those guys are not aggro either. The guys that are aggro usually were right up here on the hill. In fact, on the way over, I saw them and just kind of ran around them. But looks like we're good for now, so we'll just keep going. Okay, back at Gertie. Now I did gather a couple flowers on the way. Don't interrupt me, Alan. <laughs> okay, he stabilizes her. They chit chat a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we understand. So we're gonna escort them back, and uh, it looks like he's giving her giving her a piggyback ride, which is kind of cool. I think previously she just, I think she just had her arm around him, and they just kind of hobbled all the, all the way back. But he's got a nice little jog going on. That's cool. Well, scouting ahead, I see some trouble. You can see these creatures taking down the plant eaters. And uh, these guys are going to jump us. I think that we are... Oh! <laughs> I've failed Alan. Get over here. Go, swing. I should have gathered up some wood and put together a shield. But what can you do? In fact, I should have um, equipped some of my potions let's go ahead and get all this hopefully he's not in the middle of it yet nope okay so we need to bring this up and um, get some of these bandages down here there we go and it looks like we've got uh, 200 and this one was these are the same uh, maybe they don't stack in fire yeah okay 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 it's been a little while since I played we're kind of remembering things a little bit so it looks like we're going to get back to camp here with little interruption. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll kind of get them settled, grab the next quest, and uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of gathering so I can make some items. Well, I spoke with Alan, and he's given us uh, a couple missions here. In fact, if I bring this up, you can see we've got a look for Chen, and we've got a look for David Sly. If I bring the map up, you can see that they're actually to the west and northwest of us. So Chen is certainly the closest, and uh, Chen was a guy I spent a bunch of time with in the previous run. So we're going to run over to him first. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to head kind of out in this direction. 
And in the meantime, I'm going to kind of point out some things down here in my uh, bar. As you can see, I've got a sword. I made a sword and replaced the uh, dagger I was using, which was a plus 14 attack. Uh, we do have a shield now. And then I've got the bandages, and then we have an axe for chopping trees, and the shovel for digging up material, uh, minerals, I should say. Now, according to the update, there's a lot more minerals in the game, and um, they're kind of randomly spread out, apparently. So they're all over the place. So we're going to kind of keep an eye out for them. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'll be looking for, because previously we were just kind of getting some of the basic uh, materials. So... Um, and they're really just marked by textures on the ground. There's not necessarily anything that sticks out from the texture or anything. Whoa, hello. <laughs> and uh, so we're just going to kind of have to do some tri trial and error here. Get off of me. Okay, we were a bit hurt, but we're okay there. Now, I don't recall the battle music, and I could be just forgetting, but I don't recall there being music when you fought. So it was kind of cool. Okay, so yeah, we're, like I said, we're heading over to Chen, and let's just hit up the map again. So yeah, he's out in this direction now. I don't know if we'll have to climb up on this uh, kind of uh, outcropping here, this big mountain that looks like it's been forced up. But uh, we may have to try to find a way up there. Hello. Okay, so we need to use a potion here, or a potion, we'll use a bandage. <laughs> wrong game, Wayne. Wrong game. Okay, now we have two. This ought to be interesting. Um, okay, where are we at here? Whoops. There you go. You're going to go down. You are going down. There we go. Okay, let's scoop up their stuff. <laughs> Okay, so just so you guys know, this is actually, those creatures are actually called Mari Hares. Mari Hares. So, M A R I H A R E, Mari Hares. So, there is another creature that shares that initial name as well. There's a Mari Turtle. Very large creature. So, those guys are certainly aggro. These guys are actually stags. Um, so, these guys are just plant eaters. They're pretty safe. Uh, don't have to worry about them. If you attack one of them, they all kind of split. <laughs> they just take off running. Uh, so those two are the primary creatures we're going to see the most of for a while. There's also a small little uh, monkey-like creature that um, that runs around a bit as well. I'm kind of looking over, and it looks like those things are called gibbons. Now, I never really bothered too much with the names before in the first run I made, but I'm going to try and be referencing them by their actual name this time around. And we've got some creatures blocking my path a bit. I need to run through here to get to Chen. We've got two new creatures, and they're both aggro. So, or actually, oh, and here's a warbird. <laughs> Speaking of aggro, let's see, where'd he go? Where are you at? I don't have a ranged weapon, unfortunately. A bow would be really nice right about now. We just may have to deal with him whenever he swoops down. Where'd you go, where'd you go? Ah, don't do that. <laughs> Down you go. So there's a warbird. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, can I not loot anything off him? Sometimes, there we go. Sometimes it's just hard to kind of right click on creatures and NPCs. So, so here's a stag up close. Now, uh, that's one of the newer creatures we're running into here. And I don't mean new for Alpha 6. These guys were in the previous version as well. But um, since we're kind of starting over with Alpha 6, I just want to let people know who have not seen this game before or don't know. And I'll fill you guys in. So let's see, where did the other one go? Where did they go? We saw, or I saw the um, Devil Wolf was blocking us, which, let's see, no, not him. And then we have, that's a Mari here. But straight ahead, we have the Needle Nose Giraffe. I believe that's what it's called. Needle, yeah, I think. I think that's right, needle nose giraffe. We have the Mari hair again, those aggro little guys. Now, I think these giraffe guys are just defensive, so um Yeah. Whoa boy, and now I got these two on me. Let's see how this goes. This may not end well. <laughs> okay, he went down. Okay, maybe we'll be alright unless we get more of these jumping us. We got a couple more bandages. Okay, 
So this is a devil wolf. And the Mari here. We'll loot him. So like I was trying to say, I think the needle nose giraffe is non aggro. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, so as long as we don't hit him, we're cool. Uh, but he will defend himself. He will attack if you touch him. So if you attack him. Try to squeeze through here without a whole lot more combat if possible. Just trying to get to Chen. So like before, it looks like Chen is hanging out where all the minerals are. And in fact, this looks very new. This kind of bluish green material everywhere. So we may need to be digging this up. And we'll make a pick for that. But... Um, yeah, let's talk to Chen here. So actually, before we do that, we're going to look in the pit. Now, this pit existed in the previous run. Like I said, Chen was near it, and there was some material you ended up digging out of here. And sure enough, that blue-green material is down in here. And in fact, it looks like we've got some kind of coppery, goldish-colored-looking material here as well, which it previously had. It had iron before. We'll have to see if that's in here. But let's go ahead and talk to Chen. Keep the weapon close. Indeed. Okay. So he's got a quest for us to gather up some. Yeah, we can help you. Especially if it leads to us getting things. <laughs> so, anyway, we've got. We now have a mission from him to dig up the iron and copper. And uh, in doing that, he's going to give us some turrets. So, we've got a lot of digging to do. Now, what I do have is a shovel here. It looks like it's in my number five slot. So. As you can see, I've kind of got this indicator of where I can dig uh, with the shovel. Now, the shovel is good for, you know, dirt and moving some of this terrain around, but it's not so good at bringing up the materials you need. So, while I can use a shovel in an area where there is material like this, it you actually get more material for your swing when you actually use a pickaxe. So, we want to make that if possible. Let's go ahead and I don't know if I can make that. We can make a wood pickaxe, we just need to gather up some wood. So now these big rings here, this big circular plant basically, that looks like it's coming out of the ground and re-entering it. You can chop those down and um, they do give you a lot of wood, but they take a while. Let's see what the actual progress bar is on this. I don't think I want to stand here for all of it, but we're going to take a look. Okay, and the axe is really good, and you can see it's barely cutting into it. So you could sit there if you want to, and you can. This thing will disappear when you chop it down, which is pretty cool. But I think we're just going to stick to some of these. You can see it's much faster. And uh, when you do chop trees, you do get some other materials as well. Sometimes you get some plant fibers. So cutting down trees is cool. <laughs> so we got only wood that time, but um, let's see. Was that enough? I'm not sure how much I had. I probably will make a sword at some point here pretty soon, a new one. Uh, since we're going to be digging, we're going to end up gathering some stone, and so we'll probably make a stone sword and replace the wood one we've got down here. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and make the pickaxe while I run. You can craft these while you run. And let's get in here. Uh, I need to equip it. So we're going to go ahead and drag this down into the number six slot, hit number six. So we've got that equipped, and we're going to start chopping at some of this blue stuff. Let's see what this is all about. Very slow going here. Keep going. Keep going. We've got some dirt. Okay, we got some copper there. And you can see I've kind of got this hole going on. Even picked up some limestone there. So copper was the blue stuff. Good to know. Got some limestone. We'll dig this. Again, you're kind of looking at the textures. There's not necessarily anything that sticks out of the ground. There's not like a model that sticks out, uh, as you might be accustomed to in MMOs that you kind of run up to. In this case, you're actually just looking at the color and texture on the ground. So we'll just chop a little bit more of this out, or pick a little bit more of this. See what we can get. Nothing. There we go. So we're getting iron from the kind of gold colored material and copper from the uh, blue greenish, which kind of makes sense. Before it, I think they were similar colors. One was just darker than the other. 
So that really helps them stand out. So we've got a bunch of digging to do. I think we've got, what, uh, 20 or so on? Yeah, and 30 of the copper. So it's going to be quite the night of digging. Well, morning is here. We gathered all the material we needed for Chen and passed that along to him. Uh, we actually still actually have that material. He let us keep it. We have the basic cannons that he gave us, which was cool. You can bring those up here and you'll see them here with the arrow icon indicating they can be dragged out into the world. Just like the uh, bed up here a little bit. And I did use that last night to sleep all the way through to the morning because it was very dark. <laughs> now I do have a flashlight. Some of you may have noticed that early on at the beginning camp with Gertie, I didn't take all the material out of the emergency kit, but I did go back and grab all that stuff. So I have the flashlight and some of the other material. So we are pretty much set. I think the next thing on the agenda is to head over and find David Sly, as you can see here in our window, we still have that to do. If I bring up the map, you can see he's up to the north. So once we do that and find him, We'll be heading back down to Alan's camp and kind of turning that in. Actually, did that say Carter Camp? Hmm, I guess that's his last name, Alan Carter, I suppose. But I call it Alan's Camp. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and let him know that these guys are out here. We're assuming David is alive. We'll see. But um, yeah, other than that, I think we're pretty set. I do want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I hope you guys stick around and follow me for the rest of my exploration of Alpha 6. We have a lot of new things to discover along the way and I hope to have you along. Thanks again. We'll catch you guys next time.